let us have a look at the third example of conditional statement which is finding out uh, smallest of three numbers so in our previous uh, lecture we have seen example of largest of three numbers so we'll be following the same uh, approach here so smallest of three so instead of uh, doing the uh, the approach that we have explained in uh, the uh, previous example that if we put three different if blocks it will be less optimized rather if we use uh, nesting of if loops if conditions it would be more optimized because of the number of conditions so we'll see how to find out smallest of three numbers so we have three numbers we have uh, asked user to enter three numbers first number second and third a b and c right so if we check if a is less than b then execute this block otherwise execute this block so that means a is less than b for this entire block and a is greater than b for this entire block okay so if a is less than b we can check a with c also so if a is less than c also then we can clearly say that a is smallest because we have checked a is less than b which is true for this entire block and a is less than c for this particular block that means in this part a is less than b as well as c that's why we can say a is smallest but what about this else block in this else block actually in this complete block a is less than b so we can write here a is less than b from which is coming from the parent and if we talk about this particular sub block here the condition is a less than c and it is moving to the else block only when this condition is false that means the condition here is a is or you can say c is less than a right so when a is less than b and c is less than a we can say that c is less than a less than b right that means c is smallest so message box c is smallest now if we talk about the other portion of this if block that means a is not less than b which makes b is less than a so for this entire block b would be less than a right so we need to check b with the other uh, variable also so if b is less than c also then we can easily say that c is smallest right so if b is less than c also we can say that c is uh, b is smallest right now if you talk about this block in this entire block b is less than a so here the condition is b is less than a and the second condition comes from this block since b less than c uh, was for this block that means the true part is this if b is less than c but when this condition is false it will come to this block that means c is less than b is for this block so c is less than b for this block so from these two conditions we can conclude that c is less than b is less than a that means c is smallest right so now let us run this uh, piece of code so I entered 10, 20, 30. A is smallest. A was 10. Now if I enter 20, 30 and 10. Now you know that third number is smallest, C. So it should give me C is smallest. So that's how we uh, write the program for uh, smallest out of three numbers. And if you have, uh, let's say one or two or three equal numbers also, you need to put a logic for those also. So you need to surround your code with another if block here that if a is equal to b then do not execute this part simply say that two numbers are equal and first of all we need to make sure that all three numbers are equal or not right so we can straight away say uh, initially by putting a check that if all three numbers are equal simply say that uh, all three numbers are equal if you're not going to execute rest of the part but if two of them are equal so we'll first check a and b and then we'll check b and c and then a and c so that's how we do the comparison. I would suggest you to complete it with the, for the equality condition also. If you have any uh, questions, feel free to write to me. 
and then I'll revert to your queries. Thank you and uh, do watch our next tutorial which is about again uh, conditional statements but we'll be using switch case in that example. Thank you.